Hey there folks, it's Christian. Today is May 14th of 2015. And as you can see, New Algae has done its job. The water is nice and clear and devoid of any planktonic algae. Uh, we can clearly see all the fish. A couple of caveats here. Uh, I am not running any mechanical filtration. I am only running biological filtration. So the murk in the water is a, a normal product of my adding a bit of calcium montmorillonite clay and the fact that I'm not running a mechanical polishing filter. So this is as good as things can be here. I'm actually quite surprised that uh, new algae uh, outwon my attempt to keep this water green. I was adding KNO3 to the pond water and uh, that is potassium nitrate. So I was adding nitrates to try to keep the water green because I want a carpet algae to grow on the sides. Uh, didn't happen. New algae beat everything out and cleared up the pond. If I were to be running a polishing filter right now, this water would be absolutely crystal clear. However, I am adding calcium montmorillonite clay and only running biofilters, so the water is staying just a little bit murky. Uh, but overall, New Algae did its job. Everything looks great. And if you remember from some of the other videos 30 days ago, when we first dosed New Algae on April 13th, the plant life was relatively small. And it has just exploded. My word, look at that. Everything looking fantastic. Uh, New Algae combines in the water to create so much DO and beneficial things going on that uh, plant life plant life is just uh, takes off and looks really really good lush and green we had a storm today so everything's matted down it rained quite heavily for a good long period and uh, when things are sunny and pleasant the plants stand over two feet high here anyhow I just wanted to give you an update to show you what you would expect with new algae and if you're experiencing murk or if you do experience any murk like this it would tell you that you need to beef up your filtration and add some more polishing pads or some cotton or any type of batting that would go in and collect fine micron debris eventually into the future from what i've noticed new algae will eventually consume all of the dissolved solids in the pond. I mean, you get such a colony of things happening inside of the water column that everything feeds on itself positively and will bring the water to crystal clear by itself. And that just depends on how much patience you have and how much you like things to happen on a slow, natural pace. I'm going to show you the water returns here, which are producing crystal clear results so no more green tinge. You can see some dark area inside of the pipe, which is just a normal carpet algae and diatoms uh, encrusting and building up in the area of the pipe returns. Everything else looks fantastic in here. I can clearly see the fish. I don't know how clearly you see it on the video. You see all the foam for the most part has dissipated away from the pond. What you're seeing on the surface is just some very very light 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 foam and mostly bubbles just coming from the uh, water returns <laughs> 